Hi, welcome to the webinar on the master's program in biomedical engineering with a focus in nanomedicine. My name is Mark Reinstaff and I'm director of the program. I'm also director of the BU Nano Innovation Center, otherwise known as BU Nano. And it's great to be here today and share with you our new program, which is this focus program in nanomedicine. And of course, what's really exciting for me is the research that's involved, where one uses all these really cool ideas of nanotechnology, both in terms of new phenomenon, as well as new materials, and then applies that to the problems in medicine. And think about those unmet needs that we can now address using nanotechnology. So as I turn on the slideshow here in a minute, um, I'd like you to start thinking about some potential questions that you could ask me at the end and we'll go from there. So just give me a second and we'll all be good here. And hit the share button and we should be good. Well, wonderful. Well, as I mentioned, this is the master's program in biomedical engineering with a focus in nanomedicine. Our deadline is coming up soon. It's January 15th, um, so please apply. And at the bottom of the slide, you'll see our address that, that tells, us, tells you a little bit more about what the program is all about. So as, as I mentioned, um, I'm the director of the program in nanomedicine. And I'm also a professor here in the departments of biomedical engineering, chemistry, and medicine, as well as a professor of material science and engineering. And as I mentioned, uh, we're at BU, we have a very strong program in nanotechnology and a very strong program in medicine. It's really the combination of those two excited about. The program here at BU, and in particular the biomedical engineering program at BU, is one of the oldest and one of the strongest um, in, the, in the country. We are consist consistently ranked in the top 10 we have about 37 primary faculty members and about 80 additional scientists. Uh, we do a, a significant deal, a, a significant amount of research, and we have significant funding. And that funding comes from NIH, NSF, DOD, and DARPA. And that funding allows us to do really highly innovative research um, where our students and our postdoctorals um, can participate in. One of the other strengths that we have in the department here and at BU is our facilities. And we have facilities to do almost everything you can imagine from clean rooms that are 100 or class 100 or class 1000 to doing atomic force microscopy, looking at transmission electron micro, uh, micrographs. Again, all the types of facilities that one would think about using. We also have a printing and fabrication facility here um, at BU. And of course, um, being in Boston, we have very strong ties with our own School of Medicine, BU School of Medicine, as well as, as well as other top medical research centers in Boston, such as Massachusetts General Hospital, or Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, or Brigham and Women's Hospital. And in fact, many of our students are co-advised and co-mentored by faculty at all these institutions with our faculty here at BU. And this really, um, sets up an exciting environment where you can really learn about the problems that are facing uh, clinicians um, and how we can best work with them to come up with some really exciting ideas. So a little bit more, as I mentioned, we're a very competitive program here. Uh, we have students from both the U.S. and abroad. It's very important for us to have a mix of students from kind of everywhere so that we have the backgrounds uh, that allow us to have this really exciting melting pot of people and projects. As I mentioned, we're consistently ranked in the top uh, BME departments in the country, and our students are employed afterwards. So we design a program that's just right for you so that the classes uh, fit your interest, uh, the research project that you do um, matches what your interests are, and then we mold that so that when you leave here, you're in a perfect position to find that ideal job. And our students, uh, the employability, were basically ranked sixth worldwide and fifth in the US uh, by the Times um, Higher Ed. So what is this program in nanomedicine? Well, the master's program in biomedical engineering at BU has been around for a number of years. And what we notice is that we have all these classes that are throughout the university. So 
in biomedical engineering or in mechanical engineering or in medicine or biology or chemistry. At the same time, we have this cohort of faculty as well as students and fellows who are interested in nanotechnology and nanomedicine. And what we realize is that we have a really exciting opportunity here to create a structured path, a focused program where we take classes that are in each of those individual departments and group them together to be able to offer them to students. And so it's, again, it's just really cool. And the idea is to design a program that's gonna be ideal for you, that matches your interests, your areas of expertise and what you would like to do in the future. So our students, when they finish uh, the program, uh, they go to work in industry, uh, they take consulting jobs, or they go on for additional training, uh, both as an MD or PhD or in an MD PhD program. We have two uh, major requirements for the master's program, and they're uh, associated on the academic side, so the coursework. So in the fall semester of your first year, um, you're gonna take a nanomaterials and nanotechnology course. And this course is focused at the fundamentals of nanotechnology and nanomaterials. Uh, and the idea is to really understand what are the new phenomena that one sees when you're working at the nanoscale? What types of materials can be made? And then how can you manipulate those? And then in the spring semester, your second semester here, you're gonna take the nanomedicine course. And the idea is to take all that knowledge that you learned in the first semester and apply it to problems in medicine. In fact, that course is co-taught by someone on the med school as well as, on, as well as in biomedical engineering. And then we have a number of elective courses uh, that fulfill the requirements for the nanomedicine. And then one can do a thesis or a project. And again, uh, these are gonna be related to the area of nanomedicine. If we look more closely um, at the master's program, it comes in kind of two flavors. One is a thesis and one is a project. They have the same total number of credit units. Uh, again, there's a math requirement, a physiology requirement, um, our nanomaterials and nanotechnology course, nanomedicine, some electives, um, and then thesis research. And the thesis research will typically be two semesters worth of research, and you'll be working with one of our faculty here. And uh, you know, it'll lead to a document that is your quote thesis. Master's program with a project is very similar, except you have a project, which typically is gonna be one semester of uh, research, and it'll have both research and um, a literature component uh, to it. We have a, a significant number of courses that are available, as I mentioned, throughout BU. Um, and these are courses that are in biomedical engineering or biology or the medical school, and this is just um, a small sampling of the courses that one could take. And they could be in electrical engineering, for example, or mechanical engineering. Um, and again, the idea is to design uh, a course structure that matches your interest. And one of the nice things about BU is a very large academic institution, and therefore we have a significant number of resources. Another bonus or another opportunity or advantage that comes with our Focus in Nanomedicine program is that one can finish it in nine to 12 months, or you can take up to two years. So again, really, how do we design this program so that it best matches your needs and interest? Again, the courses are drawn from a number of different departments uh, throughout Boston University and the Boston University School of Medicine. And there are opportunities uh, for research, both project and thesis um, oriented. And in fact, that's one of our strengths here. We have a large number of faculty uh, lots of interdisciplinary and collaborative projects going on where faculty at BU are working with the BU School of Medicine or faculty at other area hospitals. And in fact, one of the strengths that we have is the BU Nanotechnology Innovation Center, as I mentioned, BU Nano. And as a director of that, we have this large collection of faculty uh, where students can work with them and work in their lab and do exciting nanotechnology and nanomedicine projects. And in fact, what we see here um, are some of our faculty, and again, they come from physics or chemistry or biomedical engineering or mechanical engineering. And again, it's really cool because uh, you have a chance to interact and meet with these faculty and work in their labs. Here's just a sampling of some of the work that's ongoing. Uh, we have very strong research competence in synthetic biology and in biomaterials and drug delivery. We do a lot in diagnostics and imaging. And as you see here, our faculty are from a range of departments. So the faculty shown on the first uh, top row are from biomedical engineering and chemistry. And in the bottom right-hand corner are faculty from the medical school. 
And often our students are co-advised and co-mentored uh, by these faculty um, in these departments. And that, again, uh, provides a really enriching environment uh, to learn from. And it's something that we're really excited about here at BU. Well, our program, our focus in nanomedicine program is actually relatively new. The master's program in biomedical engineering at Boston University has been around for a number of years. It's very well established. Um, and this last year, we had our first class of students getting the focus in nanomedicine. And there are five of them, and we're, we're excited that they're here. They're having a great year. And of course, we have Priyana, Joe, Jeremy, Eric, and Twee. Um, and what's really nice is we have a small program, and that means they can have lots of one-on-one -on -one interaction with our faculty and be able to take advantage of those opportunities that are there. We don't have a program that's 200 students and we're just running you, through, running you through the program. The idea is to design a program that's best for you so that you can be successful uh, when you leave here at BU. Our students do get jobs. Um, in last year's class, um, this is just a sampling of the places where they found jobs and where they went on for further education. So very established companies like Johnson, Johnson, and Phillips, as well as academic institutions such as UCLA or Carnegie Mellon. So again, uh, our alumni base is quite strong. Uh, it's, been, uh, it's been out there for a number of years and it's something that we take advantage of. So why BU and why Boston? Well, Boston's a great city. Um, it's a vibrant uh, community, has a large number of industries. There's about 500 biotechnology-based companies here. So that's everything from pharmaceuticals to medical devices. And in many of those companies, uh, nanotechnology is a central theme or a strong theme. And so uh, there's lots of places to get employment here. It's also exciting from an academic and from a research standpoint. Um, the, uh, the expertise that's in this city is just amazing. So there are incredibly bright and gifted people at a large number of universities and hospitals here. And you have a chance to work with them. And that's really cool. And that means that you can get the experience that you want so that you can go forth and do the next stage in your career. So with that, um, I'm gonna open it up for questions here in a minute, uh, but I would like to remind you of the deadline, which is coming up January 15th. You can email your questions to bunano at bu.edu and we'll be happy uh, to get back to you. Um, or likewise, if you'd like to um, ask some questions, I'll be online here for a few more minutes and I'd be happy to do that. So with that, thank you very much. And I look forward uh, to talking with you all. So let me click out of the slides here and we should be in good shape. Again, I wanna appreciate, thank you for the time uh, today and having the opportunity to share this with you. Well, I can tell you most days in Boston are really, really nice, but today is actually a little cold, but it's not so bad. Um, I have a few viewers out there, so if you have a question, um, please don't hesitate to uh, uh, send me a message. I'd be happy to answer. Uh, likewise, um, I'm happy to share a, few, uh, a little bit more information about the program and, and what we're doing. So I think one of the strengths, as I mentioned, about the program is really this idea to have an individualized training program for you, for your masters. And in fact, that's really quite unique. And so uh, when you come in to the program, uh, you'll have a chance to meet with myself as well as our team. And we'll think about the courses that match your interest. We'll think about the thesis and project opportunities there. And then of course you'll start up and uh, you'll start uh, the program. Uh, you'll take classes your first semester, do a little bit of research. And then of course the second semester is much more focused on classes and research. And during the summer, you had the opportunity to stay around and do some additional research, or um, we've had students in the past go on and do um, internships and in companies. There's a lot of different opportunities that are present uh, there for our students. Um, our incoming class is for the whole entire master's program at Boston University in the Department of Biomedical Engineering. It's about 25. Um, our master's program right now has our first five students, as I mentioned. And our goal is to build that up to about 10 to 15 students. And so 
again, uh, allowing us an opportunity to both serve um, our students and provide an environment in which uh, they can thrive. Okay. Okay. We're look ah, so one of the first question that's come up is how do I find a professor to work with when I come here to BU? Well, there's a couple project. ways, or, or a thesis or a project. There's a couple ways it can be done. So um, one way, which is very typical, is that we'll sit down, for example, you and I, and I'll ask you questions about what types of research you'd like to do. Is it more based on drug delivery? Is it more based on scaffolds and tissue engineering? Is it based on imaging or is it diagnostics? And based on your response, I'll make a list of faculty uh, who I think would be really good individuals for you to work with. And then uh, you'll send them an email. I'll do a follow-up email and we'll basically organize it so that you have a chance to meet them. And then uh, the goal is to have you meet a couple faculty and these will be faculty in biomedical engineering, biology, chemistry, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, uh, the School of Medicine. And then uh, from that, uh, there'll be uh, one project that sounds particularly exciting, and then we'll get you started. And so again, um, you know, fairly straightforward, does take work on both sides, but we'll work towards that to identify um, a lab for you to work in and a project and a thesis uh, correspondingly. Thanks. All right, well, I think that's it for today. But again, if you have some questions, please uh, send me an email, I'd be happy to answer. And uh, thanks much, have a really good day. Bye-bye.